All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Enough with Shisha, and that's it. The God of Shisha today is going to say his words, and Shisha is the best. I mean, what do you want? How you can? There is no God better than Allah, the God of the Shisha, who will provide me all those versions sitting there, and I would do nothing there except having sex and smoking Shisha. The God of the Hashish. Now, the God of the Hashish today is going to share something important with us. By the way, for those who do not know, the word Hashish is coming from the Middle East, from Muslims specifically. And the word assassin used with the Hashish always. Uh, there's a guy, his name is Hassan al Hashash, who is uh, the founder of the, the first assassination organization in the world. What our topic today is about. Chapter 4 in the Quran, verse number 79. The God of the Hashish, he cannot stop providing us with his wisdom. Actually, the word there is perfectly fit, whiz and dumb. Whatever of good reach you is from Allah, but whatever of evil befails you is from yourself. All right. You know, I can accept this. Uh, if Islam is not based on certain things. I mean, you see the, the Quran says that if this book is not from Allah, and until now we do not know who is Allah anyway, you will find a lot of contradictions. By the way, before we, uh, we started already, I wanted to ask this question is the timing is good you see I'm trying to do this timing which is late for me actually just because I want to uh, have uh, people from Indonesia India Philippines which mean uh, Asia so I'm, I'm delaying my program really just for those people uh, because I you know I spend a lot of time speaking to American and we have millions of videos I mean we have a lot but I'm trying my best to reach out for people in those countries and this is why I'm delaying my time all right so they can be there with me in the morning otherwise usually I do it between you know like 2 to 3 4 p.m. my time which at that time they will be sleeping good time all right how are you Claudia how's, how is Tokyo uh, Claudia, you need to take uh, you need to take the wisdom of Allah with you to talk you. So now listen, whatever of good reaches you is from Allah, but whatever is uh, uh, of evil befail on you is from yourself. Hmm. You know, I, I don't know. I, I'm going to read the Quran, trying to understand the one who wrote the Quran, what he was smoking exactly. You know. What he what he was smoking because you know this doesn't make make sense not the sentence itself Islam because you see you cannot just take a sentence and make a, a story about it for me I don't mind really to accept that somebody is saying to me okay well the good is from God the bad is from you as an example uh, you know uh, you sell drugs what what God have to do with this huh? That makes sense. It's not God who sells drugs, it's you. But this is if you are a Christian, but if you are a Muslim, you cannot do that. You cannot say that. If you are a Muslim, a Muslim believe that everything happened is already a decision made by Allah. Uh, if we go in the Quran, okay, the yellow pages of Muhammad, and we do a little search. I mean, there's uh, endless verses actually. We are is going to show us a big problems in this book. You see, Muslims, when they believe in destiny, destiny for them, 
simply is a preset control everything in your life which means it's not like or, you know um, like we can say there is destiny like okay uh, it was my destiny to be born uh, why because my mother and my dad get married okay and then uh, they do what men and women they do and then they have a baby and that is supposedly me hmm. it was their fault not my fault but anyway uh, but this is not really a destiny. I mean, if the, if, the, if uh, you know, this is if, if the if the man and the women they did not decide to go to bed together and get married, then nothing will happen. You know. But I can say like I have nothing to do with it. I mean, it's not nobody asked me uh, if you like to come to this earth or not, right? But if we go in the Quran, we will find tons of verses saying, as an example. <clears throat> Let us see which verse we start with first. All right. Chapter 33, verse number 38. There is no blame on the Prophet in that which Allah has made legal for him. That has been Allah way with those who have passed away, which mean before him. And the command of Allah is a decree determined. Now the translation here is not really accurate because it says Qadaran Maqdura. Yes, it's a decree and determined, but it is a destiny. Which means even what Muhammad he does, you can't blame him for what he do. For Allah, he wrote for him to do that. Muhammad is controlled by a remote control. If you go to chapter uh, Abbas, you remember this chapter when uh, um, a man, he came, a blind man, he came to Muhammad and Muhammad, he uh, gave him a bad face. Your destiny written when you are a seaman. <clears throat> Let us see this one first. We can see 54, 49, which is uh, almost the same. But let us see this one. From Nutfa, male and female semen drop. By the way, this is between two brackets. It's not in the Quran. But anyway, but the Muslim trying to explain to you, supposedly. He created him. And then, and, and here you see the stupidity of the Quran. Because, yes, the Quran mentioned in, the, you know, in other chapter that the man and the women, both of them, they have a sperm, and supposedly uh, it says, uh, from between the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. So according to the cult of Muhammad, uh, women, they have a sperm, semen, and it's coming from the location of the necklace, and the man have a semen coming from the backbone, which is both of them false and wrong. But what you can say, he was taking hashish. However, our topic here is, and then he set in set him in due proportion. What does that mean exactly? You are in this stage. You are just a sperm, a semen. What the Quran is talking about? You know what? We don't want to make things up because the Muslim they will say it doesn't say that CP. It doesn't matter what I say. So uh, we, we have to go and see the interpretation, shall we? Uh, give me a second, let us open the Islamic interpretation and see what this verse means. Chapter 80, verse number 19. And trust me, even after I read the interpretation, they will say it doesn't say that, A.B. But I like it, actually.
<clears throat> All right, let's open Ibn Kathir. This is Ibn Kathir. Let us zoom out. The only thing I don't like about this page, it's hard to uh, make the text appear in a good way, you know. But anyway, from what from what thing did he create him? From Nutfa he created him, and then he set him in a preparation, meaning he decreed his life span, his sustenance, his deed, and whatever he would be miserable or happy. Okay, what is left? People, do you see the word that Allah he degree the deeds? Did it, does it say that or I'm making things? It doesn't say that. That's A B. It doesn't say that Allah he decreed your deeds and everything you do. Hmm? So if Allah is the one who decree my deeds, so what what is what is my what is de my deed then? This is the deed of Allah. <laughs> People, do you understand me? Deeds can be bad, can be good. So if you are a criminal, Allah He made you a criminal. You are a nutfa now. If you are a thief, Allah made you a thief. If you are a good person, Allah made you a good person. Oh boy. Muhammad Qadir saying that the Lord has made all things for himself. Yeah, even the wicked for the day of him. <laughs> My friend, we Christian, we are not stupid. God, he created even the devil. We know that. So, you know, but God did not create a devil in Christianity to be a devil. In Christianity, the devil was an angel. Here we go. We got you busted. But according to you, Muslims, your God, he made the devil devil. He made the bad man, bad man. He made the good man, good man. And then he want to punish them for being as he wanted. Do you see it? Why Allah will punish you for your bad deeds if he is the one who decree your deeds before you are born? The bad and the good. Are you there, Mr. Qadir? You are now a sperm, a semen. You are not even a, 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 a person yet. And Allah, he decreed your deeds. So what is left for you? Islam is very stupid and not only that the story is not over yet the disaster continue as we said too much hashish if you go in the Quran you will find in chapter 64 verse number 11 it says that not even any bad thing happened be failed but by the leave of Allah decision of Allah do you read it my friend okay if somebody get killed is that a bad thing or good thing it's a bad thing who is the one who made decision Allah so how the bad things is from you in the other verse and the good things from Allah <laughs> do you see it so Allah he made for you decree when you are a sperm a semen to commit a crime to kill somebody now and then he say in uh, chapter 4 verse number 79 good things reach to you is from Allah bad things is from yourself but as you see human being according to Islam he have no control of himself he control nothing of himself 
because everything in Islam is a decree started when you are a seaman Uh, Muhammad Qadr, you see, just to show you when a Muslim he starts thinking what he do. Let me show you. This is a Muslim start thinking. He is he, he's getting hurt. So Christian do not believe God know you are going to do bad. See, you just you just answer yourself. Our God is a just as God. He will not judge you unless you do it first. Otherwise, if he just know you will do it, but you did not do it, then he is not being fair. We believe in a free will. And now I want to ask you the same question. Let us see how smart you are. If your God, he knew that you would do good, and he is the one who made you do that. So why he is going to punish you? Have you ever heard of a stupid God more than your God? So he made me commit sin and then he will punish me for the sin which he made me do. I mean, your God, he should have changed his name from Allah to Scooby Scooby Doo. Scooby Scooby Doo. Yes, I love you. I'm a Muslim, I'm thinking. The second a Muslim he starts thinking, eh, it is a hookah day. How this is can be from God? And not only that, you think we are done? No, my friend. If we go in the Hadith, you will see even the sin of Adam is from Allah. Like what the heck? Yes, brother. According to your prophet, Moses and Adam, they have a debate. Uh, you know, at that time, they have a Skype. I mean, how Moses and Adam, they met? Look like your Muhammad. He thinks that Moses and Adam, they live in the same street, in the same building in uh, Hollywood. Moses and Adam, they are having a debate. How? I mean, do you think like Moses, he was uh, maybe two years uh, uh, younger than Adam? Uh, let it go, hashish, you know, too much hashish. So there was an argument between Adam and Moses. Moses said to Adam, Moses, Moses is talking now, Moshe, uh, the Jew, Khabibi, 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 you are our father. And you did us harm. And you caused us to get out of paradise. Adam, he said to this Moshe, Moshe, the Jew, you are Musa. Allah selected you for the great conversation and wrote the Torah for you. Despite your this, you bring me for an act which Allah has ordained for me for three years before he created me. Like, what the heck? What a horrible debate. This Musa have this Moshe have no skills of debate. Bring him here to teach him. So look what happened. Adam saying to Musa, Khabibi Musa, Khabibi Moshe. Khabibi Moshe, stop going and smoking hashish, Khabibi Moshe, but not Yahu. You cannot blame me for my sin, Habibi Moshe, because Allah decreed my sin 40 years before he created me. What is this? So Adam, he commits sin, which is not his sin. Do you see it? So how Allah, he says, the bad, the, the bad is from you and the good from Allah. When Adam, he disobeyed Allah, was that the bad from him or from Allah? Seriously, brother. I'm not going to bring Zach and Nike here because he will going to spit up everybody of us. And that's it. He will cover he will cover us with the with the 
he will cover the the crime evidence. Ibn Adam Sitar, the other person is the Christian prince, and he would make fun of the Quran. First of all, Christian prince is a big fat liar, and it doesn't say that TB. Uh, uh, hold on, uh, Zach and Ike, uh, it doesn't say that CP exactly, but it says there that Allah He decided for Adam His sin forty years before He, he created him exactly forty years, not fifty years. Okay, it doesn't make as a different. Forty years before he was created, Allah decreed for him how much sin he will do. So it's not the sin of Adam. Exactly. Because Allah he decreed forty years. Remember, it takes forty years, not forty years in one day. Because that will make a different. Okay, Zach and I focus with me. I don't care it's forty days, forty years, four hundred years. The number is not important. The important is that Allah he decree the sin of Adam before he did it. So Adam had no choice. Exactly. But remember, it's for the youth. Okay, I, I, we, I, we got it, uh, Zakir. Zakir, is, is it hashish today? They, listen, okay, it's 40 years. We got that. We got that. But Adam, he did not commit sin <clears throat> based on the story. It's Allah who decides for him to do the sin. Exactly. Okay, so we agree, right? That's uh, that uh, Adam is not, he did not commit sin. It's for the youth. Like, uh, uh, Zakir Naik, for, forget about the 40 years, man. For the sake of Allah, like, can you forget about the 40 years? Exactly. Like, okay, listen. Adam here, he did not commit any sin. Allah, he forced him to commit sin. Do you agree? Exactly. Okay. So now, how Allah punished Adam for his sin? Exactly. Because Allah decided that 40 years before that. Okay. So why he decided to punish him for the sin which Allah, he decided? Exactly. Because this is 40 years. I told you, if it's 40 years and one day, Allah will not punish him. The end of the conversation with the Muslim, he was having some watermelon time. This is their logic. You speak about sky, they speak about zucchini. They know I'm not having, trust me, I, I am sick of this cult. You see, many of you think I am I'm having fun. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm sick of it. I, I wish one day I will not even speak about this cult, but I know that people need to learn and, and know that my work is needed. Otherwise, I really, I wish just psh, go and forget about it. I mean, look, a human being is so slow to the point they cannot see it. It's so clear that this is stupid. So Allah, he kicked Adam from heaven for committing sin or because Allah, he made him commit sin. If Allah made him commit sin, so why Adam was kicked out from heaven? If you if you go in the Quran, I the yellow pages of Muhammad. Look how many verses, look. Chapter 2, verse number 36. As an example. So when shaitan, look at the Quran. The Quran says, then the shaitan uh, made them slip from paradise. Look how shaitan is the one who made them slip if this is a destiny. Do you see the stupidity? Do you see, guys, do you understand the stupidity? I'm trying to show you how we connect the dots. One place Muhammad saying that Allah he decreed the sin of Adam 40 years before he created him and we cannot blame him for the sin he do and then he says to Allah that shaitan he made him sleep and he commits sin and then Allah he said to him get out of here get down get down do you see it get down all of you get down for what because he commits sin okay but you are the one who made him commit sin How this is can be from God? Exactly, Shaitan destiny is made by Allah too. Everything, everything, my friend, uh, everything, everything happened is uh, from Allah. You see, just to show you, 
who is the one who sent shaitan even to prophets Allah he appoints shayateen shayateen mean many satan <clears throat> all those verses let us see all evil ones is appointed by Allah and specifically the shayateen so we have appointed for every prophet's enemies of shayateen the devils from among the mankind and the genie so and Adam according to Islam is a prophet so when shaitan he came to Adam and he made him commit sin shaitan was appointed by Allah Do you see it? I mean, this book is the most hilarious, stupid book ever. You flip the page, you'll find crazy stuff. That's it. I mean, it is, it is, it is really crazy. And you know, actually, the verse before it, it shows us that Muhammad is, is a scam. Look at this verse. And even if we had sent down into them, the angels and the dead had spoken to them, and we had gathered to gather all things before their eyes, they would not have believed unless Allah willed. <laughs> so what is the condition? <laughs> How we will believe Allah have to be willed. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh. Mm. oh boy. For life to be test, there have to be a devil. Muhammad Qadr, are you are you an idiot? How that can be a test if you don't have a free will? You see, to be to be tested, you have to, to you have to be given a free will. Here we go, Adam, Allah, he decreed for him his sin 40 years before he created him. So this is not a test for Adam, this is a test for a stupid God. And here you see in the front of you, this is Quran, don't tell me this is a weak Quran. Even if we do this and this and this and this and this and this, they will not believe unless Allah will. Okay, so what is that? Who is going to make the decision of me to believe in Islam? Allah, it's not my decision. Stupidity. Stupidity. I hate stupidity. Stupidity is my number one enemy. Shouldn't you have first a free will so you can say it's a test? It's like saying to me, I'm going to make you have an exam, huh? And I am the one in control of you to give correct answer or not. What kind of an exam this exam is? How this is can be a test for Adam if the sin of Adam was a decree by Allah? Where is the test here? He wrote for him that he must commit 40 years before he created him. Now, do you blame me for that? You cannot blame me. You see, when the, when the Messiah spoke about going to heaven, he said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, which means God, God, will go to the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. Okay? So, in order to 
be qualified to be in the heaven of the Messiah, I have to do the will which is the teaching of the Father, the teaching of the Messiah, the teaching of the Bible. Hmm. But he gave me the will. So there is my will to do the will of God or to reject it. The will of God, be holy like your father. Don't kill, don't lie, don't cheat, don't, 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 don't. Okay, this is the will of, the, of God. Now, the, your will is a choice. You can do totally the opposite. In Islam, there is no such a thing. As you see, Adam, he did not have a choice to do or not to do. It's a sin he must commit. So how we can judge him for a sin he must commit? Do you blame me for an act which Allah had ordained for me 40 years before he created me? And I want to know what the story with this number 40. I just showed you many of them. Which one? There's only, there's an endless number. But I just showed you that even you will not believe unless Allah will. Here we go. Allah saying, supposedly, chapter 6, verse 111. And even if, if we had sent down an angel, and we made the dead speak to them, and we had gathered all things before their eyes, which means whatever, miracle, whatever, they would not believe unless Allah will. And here, by the way, you notice, do you notice? That there is no way the Quran is made by someone his name is Allah. Anyone notice why? If the one is talking is Allah, he should say, unless I will, I am. Not unless Allah. If you are Allah, how you say unless Allah willed? You notice? The author of the Quran, the fabricator, he always forget to switch. The one is talking, he cannot be Allah himself because he have to switch, he have to say I. You see, I'm the one is talking. The first one that decide Allah, said Allah decide even if we are happy or unhappy. With all the, you know, okay, you see, this is what destiny, destiny is not only happy, Destiny is everything. Your your lifespan, your your deeds, the good, the bad, the ugly, everything. Even there is no bad things happen to you except by the leave of Allah. All right. Uh, thank you, Karana. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to my other channel, which we uh, uh, we uh, we have for other topics, and we are going to be live there every week, Friday and Saturday and Sunday. So, if you like to join us in that channel, uh, the admin is posting for you the the link. Click there and subscribe, and be sure you will be notified. Remember, every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we will be in that channel. So, uh, uh, during those three days, I will not do live uh, program in the Arabian Prophet. So, uh, you might be wondering why I'm not appearing. Simply, I am in the other account. So, please subscribe so you can join us. Quality of Life, M27. Now, Uh, as you see you know uh, Quran Hadith all the collection of Islamic text lead you for one direction that this is a stupid book this is a stupid cult nothing makes sense in it I mean not only this God, you don't remember which one he created first, the sky, the stars, the earth first, the trees, the mountains, the sun. No, not only this. 
not only he don't know where the sperm is coming from, he think women have a sperm coming from their breast, which means women, they have a breast testicles, which is really beautiful. And he claiming that the man have a sperm coming from his backbone, which is very stupid. And he think that the hail is coming from mountains in heaven, and he break pieces from it, he throw it at us. And he think that only the lowest heaven have stars. And he think that Allah, he is saying, that he made the stars as decoration <laughs> for our eyes. But this is stupid, because what we see of stars is very little of what what is really real there, which means how this can be decoration. I mean, it's not enough, but it, and then it goes really wild and stupid. Claiming that everything you do is decided by Allah, so why He wanna punish me? If you remember, there's a hadith where Muhammad he make it a, he make a big poo, poo there, big big poo, poo. I mean, the smell it's until now, even though he did it fourteen hundred years ago, but still the smell is big and ugly. Look at this. This is Muhammad speaking, and this is Sahih al-Bukhari. Open the windows, please. The poopoo is so big, and the smell is a huge. Uh, yuck. And by Allah, when Muhammad, he say by Allah, that's mean the poopoo is big. It's horrible. Open your umbrella. And by Allah, a person among you, may do deeds of people of the fire till there is only one cupid or an arm breathe distance between him and fire you are almost there in the door like when the door will open for you they will throw you there almost but then uh, but then brother what written which allah has ordered the angels to write proceed look what the heck and he does the deeds of the people of paradise and he entered look look at this crazy so the guy he was going to go to hell because all his deed is bad but then what allah he wrote for him decide that he will go to heaven <laughs> so why you lie to us you say make donation give allah a good loan because this is good deed, the one who could do it, do good deed will go to heaven. As you see, there's no good deed and bad deed. And look, and here he switched the opposite. And then he says, And a man may do the deeds of the people of paradise. Huh? This guy is giving donation to me, my hijab. Then there is only one, only a cupid or two between him and paradise. Okay. And then, brother that is written proceed and he does the deeds of people of hellfire and he entered like what the heck so what we will do now how we can go to the heaven of allah you cannot because it's a gambling it's like going in a casino in las vegas Allah, he wrote for you what number will win, what number will lose. If your number is five, you lost. You are in hell now. Have you ever heard of a stupid religion more than this? What, an F, what a waste of an effort to do kindness in this world. Yeah, Taliban, they are doing kindness. I agree with you. Mm-hmm. A lot of kindness. I mean, they are producing a lot of drugs. How this is can be from God? I mean, do people even have a brain? Don't you, don't you see? Are you blind? I'm not going to ask Zach and Naik about this because if I ask Zach and Naik, okay, Zach and Naik, what is your opinion? Christian Prince, I told you, he decided your destiny 40 years before he created him. Okay, forget for God's sake about the 40 years now. How Allah decree is going to decide who is going to go to heaven, who is going to go to hell. 
You know, as you see, the guy is almost in heaven, in hell, and then Allah decrees change. You know, he he proceed. So, how we can survive the games of Allah? I don't get the man. First of all, it's forty years. It's not forty years in one day. Zakarnay, come on, forget about the forty years, man. Okay, you know what? It's thirty years. Okay, we change that. Get some breath. I get you, but you are corrupting the hadith. The hadith did not say thirty years. It says forty years. Okay, we got it. We got it. <laughs> hmm. When you are following a silly prophet, you come with all silly answers. Who is next? Hmm? This is why you know I find when Muslim try to answer me. I, you know, I, I don't mean to insult anyone, but I wonder, like, I mean, what is the brain? What is the brain is located there? Hmm. Yeah, according to Islam, Allah, he made me say what I'm saying now. You believe it? Hmm. Yeah, this is the religion. Welcome to Islam. Hmm? Yeah, I think this uh, this is Jones. He he wanted to call me in the other day, and I told him to call me in Monday. Hold on, let me oh, let me open my Skype. He wanted to talk to me. Are you the same, Jones? <clears throat> no, he called me before, and he left Islam, I think, but he is angry from me. Let me log in, hold on. We will take only call from Mr. Jones because we promised him. Let me call you. Answer, answer, Jones. <coughs> Are you there? Jones, I'm calling you. I'm not going I'm not going to call you again if you don't answer now. Like you called me a thousand times and I told you not now. Because I was in the other channel and now I'm calling you are not answering hello CP. Yes, my friend, go ahead. Yeah, uh, uh, you know me, uh, my name is uh, uh, Einstein. <laughs> no, sorry, the people call me Einstein of Islam, as you know. All right. So, uh, and why they call you that? Sorry. Uh, wait a minute, poor connection. Hmm. So, <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, uh, Non-Muslims uh, incorrectly believe that uh, Islam claims that the sun sets in a, a murky water. This is not true. So, if you see the translation in a Sahih International, it says if it is, if if it is, if it is uh, sit, sitting in a muddy spring. So, hmm. but does it say does it say as does it say as if it is, or it says doesn't say that in Arabic. The, the word wajada means uh, uh, appears. It appeared to Zulkarnan. Wajada mean appear or mean found? No, 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 no. Wajada mean to mm. appear. Okay, who is the one who told you this Arabic? You speak Arabic? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, can you show me in dictionary where it says that the word wajada mean appear? Uh, 
it appear to be uh, yeah, yeah 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 if you visit a uh, vacationary Dictionary.com. Okay, hold on. I'm going. Here. I'm going to open. I'm going to open an Islamic dictionary. I will put it for you in the screen, and you tell me how this has happened. And by the okay. way, and by the way, we can search for the same word in the Quran, and we will see with the same word as it translated all over the Quran because the word agree uh, appear in the Quran many places. So, what do you think about that? Good choice. Because if the word wajada yeah, yeah, yeah. mean appear. That's mean all the translation of the Quran is going to be appear. All right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Well, here we go. I'm going to put the dictionary for you, and this is your Islamic dictionary. This is the word wajada, the, okay. the first one. Okay. It says, detect, discover, find out, spot. Where is the word appear? And this is your Islamic dictionary, Al-Ma'ani. I will pause the link. In, in the chat so people can see and you can open it yourself and you can type the word by yourself you can just copy it from the Quran as it is and you know uh, see the meaning so whoever said that to you is a liar no 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 Zakir Naik can't lie ah Zakir Naik cannot lie well here we go this dictionary and here we go you see it says wajada uh, athara ala came across, came upon, find, happen, hit upon, light upon, meet with, etc. So like there's more, you know, this is all is, uh, 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 he, you know, he found. So found, it can be uh, about an idea. It can be found about, it, it depends on what is the word after. So if I'm talking about an object, it's obviously I found an object. If I'm talking about love, I found love because this is something it can be found too. Uh, I found mercy. So the the word after wajada will decide I am talking about what about an object or about uh, something uh, uh, maybe emotion, uh, mercy, and kindness. So the word wajada mean I found, and the word after it is going to decide I found what. So he's talking about he found the sun, and the sun is not emotional. Is not he's talking about the sunset and you know hold on do you think your prophet he knew what the Quran saying or your prophet is uh, ignorant yeah I definitely know you will say now uh, in Sunan Abu Daud mm -hmm. uh, you will quote a hadith uh, that the prophet uh, says that uh, sunsets in a muddy spring but if you see the, the chain of narration mm -hmm. uh, the person named Tariq, uh, something is that I just forget it, but uh, mm. all, uh, those hadiths uh, which are uh, narrated from him is weak. And ah, also okay, here we go. He it, says, it says Sahih in chain. Read it. So the narration is, is good and it is Sahih. So the one who told you it's weak, he's a fraud. This is your Islamic website. It says Sahih in chain. Nothing wrong with it. Okay. Mm. So, okay. Mm. Do you see it in the screen? I'm showing you in the screen. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. So why they say it's a it is a it is a lie when it is sahih in chain? Because they are liars trying to cover up for their prophet for what he said. So I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah. What? Okay, hold on, hold on. You see, do you know a guy? His name is Fifi. Hold on, hold on. No, no, hold on, hold on. There's a guy. There's a guy. His name is Fifi, and he, he made a video to, to to get a uh, to get an apostate prophet busted. And he said that he don't agree with this hadith, but he agree about other hadith. And I will show it to you. But look how how will show you how stupid this guy is. How he got your prophet busted? He said that he agree with this hadith. Which hadith? This one. You can go and watch his video and die laughing. All right. He said, this is the hadith he agreed with. Okay, what the hadith is saying? Once I was with the Prophet, and this is Sahih Bukhari, you can't say it's weak, and he agreed with it already in the video. I was with the Prophet in the mosque. In the time of the sunset, the Prophet said, O oh, Abu Dhar, do you know where the sunset I replied, Allah and his apostle knows best because Muslims are mushrikeen. They associate the knowledge of Allah with the knowledge of a man. His name is Muhammad. He said, 
it goes and prostrate underneath Allah's throne. Now, is that scientifically true or scientifically stupid? Yeah, this is so embarrassing, but it doesn't. It doesn't just. Uh, I think he just says it for something. Yeah, but uh, what he said another it, misconception. You know, that, you know, no, hold no, on. No, no, no. What? What? what you, you have a lots of mis You have a lots of misconceptions about Islam. Okay, give uh, give me the answer he about says, this now. Don't don't change the topic. You, does, yeah, yeah. does the sun no, does, does, does the sun goes anywhere? Uh, he have a question from you that uh, uh, you Christians uh, incorrectly believe that uh, you will go to uh, hell according to Islam, but no, Christians and Jews will go to uh, heaven, as you know. <laughs> My friend, what what you are changing topic? Uh, forget about hell and heaven now. What kind of a prophet and what kind of God? And this is the Quran, chapter 36, verse number 38. He said, And the sun run into a fixed course. And Muhammad explaining what Allah means, that the sun every day go and sleep under the throne of Allah. How this is can be God is talking. And the guy whose name is Fifi, he agree with this hadith. He said, this is the correct hadith. I agree with that. But he just got Muhammad busted because the sun doesn't go anywhere in the sunset. The sun is there. Yeah, yeah you, you have to watch Zakir Naik. He is the best debater. Hmm. We believe in him. Hmm. What Zakir Naik is saying <laughs> about this? Yeah, he says, hmm. "You look all the translations and all uh, all uh, the meaning of uh, these uh, verses are you quoted from uh, 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 websites, and you know uh, websites. Uh, most of the people uh, used to." Uh, uh, criticize Islam or uh, hey, hey, listen, listen. simple word Do, don't Islamophobes. don't make me hang so up they, don't, don't make me hang up on you they, you are they, talking they, about they, things I have no idea what this topic you are talking about what website I do not need website I am the website I am the one who is teaching you and you are telling me quoting from website people website they learn from me I am asking you how Zakir Naik explain to you how the sun said go and give me the answer don't tell me you are quoting from webs what website me, I need website. I use website because I'm in the internet to show you so you can read it. What website? This is your Islamic website. I'm not quoting from anyone. Do you see me opening a channel talking about Muhammad? Here we go. Everything you say, I just get you the quotation immediately. So now, what kind of a prophet he says such a stupid thing? Yeah, it's... No, you, you're correct. I... I appreciate your work, but uh, if you watch a uh, merciful servant video, he says that uh, Quran status that uh, uh, sun has uh, a fixed orbit. <laughs> Here we go. This is the first chapter 36, verse number 38. <laughs> your prophet explained the verse. This guy is an idiot. Your prophet get him. They are kids. Those are kids. Don't watch their videos. Those are a bunch of kids. This is why they don't dare to call me. What merciless servant and beseech servant? Well, here we go, I'm here. Why they don't care and show me what you're talking about? I mean, what they will lose? They will lose their virginity, but they are scared, terrified. So this is your prophet. Who is who is the one we should listen to? A guy who came himself, Mimi, or your prophet? For sure, Mimi. I think Muhammad Hijab. Mimi. Muhammad Hijab is the answer. I'm not sure, yeah, absolutely. Muhammad Hijab, he knew more than the prophet. Because he is selling drugs and he's <laughs> selling things in his car by oh, this. <laughs> but we showed him what Muhammad said. They say, say to me, the guy in his video, he said. <laughs> so all this school, you know, you are calling me for this. I mean, uh, I mean, isn't it obvious for you? This is stupid. Come on, man. Yeah, he accepted it. That uh, yes, Islam says the sun sets in a murky water. Okay. So now what we, will, what, what we will do, it's just stupid, and it's true. This is what Muhammad believed, this is what Islam teach, and all, all evidence but, lead to one direction, that Muhammad is a fraud and Allah does not exist. No, 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 astaghfirullah. No, hmm. no, we can't blame our Prophet for anything. I think uh, this is the statement of the past times, 
I think some really said cinema murky water. Mm, okay. At that time, uh, Mohammed now. Ah, <laughs> at that time the sun set in murky water. At, at that time, <laughs> and then that the, then the sun bought a house in different place and moved out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. All right. Anything else, my friend? <laughs> Look, I'm not going to leave Islam. I'm not going to leave Islam. Islam is my you are out of Islam. Religion. You are out. You are out of Islam already. You are making. Look, you are laughing at your prophet, and you are telling me I'm not leaving Islam. You just say this is not true. You just say this is wrong. You just, just this is embarrassing, and now you are saying to me I'm not leaving. You left Islam. Aren't you the one who just said two no, minutes no. ago this is embarrassing? Look, I said to you that uh, at that time I the. The sun will set in the murky water. Ah, at that time, yeah. What, and what, hap what do you think? What happened? The sun, like somebody, she did not pay the rent, so they kick her out of the uh, of the water, and now she is not sitting in the so water no was, more. That hmm? was Zul Zulqarnain in times. It was not. Uh, hmm. And where, is, <laughs> where, times. where was that is water? You know, okay, where was that water where the sun set at that time? SCP, look, uh, our prophet. Don't tell me, SCP, look, I'm asking you a question, my friend. Where, where, where the sun? The fitness, bro. No, no, no. Where is the sun set at that time? Which, where is the water located? Do you have an idea? Uh, <laughs> Allah knows better where the sun was setting in it says, which ocean. What ocean? It says a spring. Do you know how to read? It says a spring of a muddy hot water. Okay. It's a, so it's a tiny, little yeah, yeah. tiny spring. When you say spring, it's mean it's something tiny. It cannot be even a river. This is what spring means. So it's not an ocean. They lie to us. They say he, so. It's an ocean. Uh, even in the Quran, it says It says a spring of water. How that can be an ocean? Since when the ocean is a spring of water? Ah, uh, let me tell you. I will help you. You will tell me now. At that time, the ocean was so small. He was a spring of water. And by time, get bigger. I'm helping you now. And if we yeah, call Zach and Nick, right. if we call Zach and Nick, he will say, Brother and sister, first of all, it was 40 years. And this is the reason we have to agree with it. Zach and Nick, we are not talking about Moses and Adam now. Just let me, please. Okay. <laughs> we are talking about a spring of yeah. water. What forty years? I don't agree with It's not for it's forty years, and that's even forty years with a day. Zach and Nick, how the Quran says that the sun sit in a spring of water? This is the question. Christian Pint, you are deaf and you are dead. Thing. I told you, no, it's please. forty years, and it's the proof, no. and I get you but then. No, no, no. Hmm. <laughs> please don't play like Zach and Nick. Make me laugh. Hmm. Are you looking at Zach and Nike but, uh, or looking at your prophet? No, but uh, hmm. uh, I will uh, contact about this uh, with merciful servant. Hmm. He will give you answer, inshallah. My friend, at this point. Okay, you don't don't tell me those names. Those yeah. names are kids. They don't count for me. Bring me your bring me bring me a scholar. Where is the wood? Where is your shakes? Where is the potatoes? The big potatoes. What are you giving give me? Getting me kids. Uh, all right come on all right take care well i don't know this guy he was trying to call me like crazy like i i i go on skype i have like a thousand missed call from him and i thought he's going to tell me something important and look what the sun the sun was sitting in the water at that time at that time yeah, okay this is the conclusion now i will call me again and he will say i told you it was for the earth and you're not a dream. It was 40 years, and Allah, he mentioned in the hadith, 40 years before he created me. Hmm. Crazy religion. We say a male, they say milk it. It's a male goat. Milk it. It's a male. A milk it. <laughs> Islam. <sighs> guys if you see my Skype how I'm going to answer all those people when I open my Skype I find like a million people texting me and they think I think I think they think 
I'm going to read their text. It's impossible. Please, guys, don't do that to me. When you have something to say, say it to him in the chat. I can read it. In Skype, I cannot, and especially how Skype is made, like blah, 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 blah. they appear suddenly in the screen and it takes forever. I mean, unbelievable. Don't do that. Let me log off of Skype. I mean, this Skype became like scary for me. You open it, you find like a, as of a gun machine open in your face. All the messages appear suddenly and people keep calling me. I am online. I am offline. It doesn't matter. I receive calls 24 hours, 7 days a week. Let us log off. That's it. If you have something important to say to me, you can email me in Patreon, but don't email me there just to say, how are you? And I told you, it's for the youth. Okay. Uh, Hmm. <clears throat> anyone anyone any Muslim have anything to say you can say it in the chat you know I'm not going to open Skype anymore I mean for today We want Zach and Nayak to call us. That would be a good call. We will spend the first two hours he repeating it is 40 years. But you know, the most the most amazing answers of Muslims, you, you want to see how does Islam make you smart? When when an Indian woman, she asked Zach and Nayak, why in Islam there is no woman, she is a prophet. Zach and Nayak, now he is using all his capability of intelligence. And he said to her, uh, this is the they ask a question. And actually, your question is very valid. She said, why in Islam, there is no woman to the Prophet? And I have to agree with her. In Islam, there is no woman to the Prophet. And the reason for that, if a woman to become a Prophet, she have to do to do a wudu, and she have to build over. And if they build over, that will disturb the thing. Disturb what? The congregation. thing. Translation. He agreed with the women that in Islam there is no woman, she is a prophet. Why? Because if she became a prophet, she has to bow down. And if she bow down, the Muslim will look at her ass. This is in the front of tens of thousands. And this is a smart answer of a smart donkey. And the Muslim, like their mouth is open, like, wow, brother. Like, wow, me. The reason, hey women, the reason you are not qualified to be a prophet is your ass. If you send your resume to Allah, asking him to make you a prophet, he will look at your ass, he says you are overqualified. <laughs> Excuse me, unbelievable how stupid this cult is. Please, please, when you send your resume to Allah, if you are a female, send an image or photocopy of your ass. Because Allah will look at your ass, and because of your ass, he will say you are the glorified. Hmm. Uh, Abdul Jannah saying, The truthful people will never hide their face behind a computer or laptop to speak something. Even in UN, we are debate face to face. My friend, uh, uh, you just said something very important. Truthful people don't hide their faces. So why Allah in the Quran, he says that Allah, he never speak unless he is from behind the curtain. You just admitted that your God, Allah, is not truthful. And this is why I say they have a low IQ when they try to answer me. So he could not debate me, he could not answer the disaster I am saying, but he uh, come to a conclusion, if you are truthful, you, you will show your face. <laughs> well, I will use your logic. If Allah is a truthful, then he will not wear a veil as the Quran says. Oh, 
Are you there? Allah is sitting now behind the computer, hiding his face. Do you see it? Okay, I'm going to use your logic. Jibreel, if you are a truthful, show me your face. Jibreel is behind the computer. Stupidity. They cannot answer me. They cannot debate me. Eh. This is the only thing we can say. Show us your face. Why you don't debate Sheikh who is equally... Okay, hold on. I mean, Muslims... How? how look, hold on. I, I have to make a study about how long... Let me take a selfie. How long it take a Muslim to make a question? All right. Smile, uh, Jundallah, Junaid. Smile. I just took a selfie for you, brother. I told you. It's for the youth. Hmm. Junaid was thinking about this question for 40 years, I guess. Look what Junaid, he said. <clears throat> or Jund. Remember it. Why don't you debate a sheikh who is equal as a prepared instead of debating jahil, jahil ignorant? <laughs> is that you? <laughs> is that you, the jahil? Secondly, where is your sheikh? Let them call me. There is a sheikh. You remember the guy he used to call and he, then he asked his sheikh to call, call and debate me? We have the debate. Go watch it and die laughing. He's a sheikh. The sheikh was shaky. So you are saying to me, all of you are Muslims, are a bunch of kids, and you are asking me to debate the sheikh. I'm waiting. Have you ever heard of me saying no to anyone? Here we go. I take even calls from everybody. Like this guy, uh, uh, Jones, whatever his name. Do I know him? No. Eh, you want to call me? Okay. He could be a sheikh. But all of you are the same. You think the sheikh, he can make it? Actually, debating someone who have knowledge in Islam is way easier from debating a donkey. Because debating a donkey, he speak about the East, he speak about the West. Anyway. I think we cover a good part of the topic for today and uh, my videos are made for you guys you can use them in your, the way you like to to uh, to show people reference and proofs uh, Islam is very stupid you know for me I don't even need to think about a topic or like if somebody said now we want to debate me okay we will go hold on who is a Muslim Sheikh is now listening to us he is willing to call me I will open my Skype who is a Muslim sheikh? Long beard. Is willing to call me right now and I will open my scarf for you. Anyone? Anyone? Maybe it's going to happen. Anyone? 
Okay, we'll extend the timing. Maybe uh, one of them he will get the courage from Allah. What? Hold on, hold on. I just received Quran. Jabril, he just sent me something. I think he won't debate me. Uh huh. Uh huh. Jabir, he just told me, brother, he want to debate me face to face. And he is saying, I told you, it's 40 years. <laughs> face to face. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> what a stupid. Oh boy. Time is up. I mean, that's it. You have a few seconds. One second left. That's it. So what we will do now? And you are asking me to debate Muslim. Where are the Muslims? Oh man. <sighs> what we can do, what we can do. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. I am the nightmare of Allah. But by the way, all the Muslims, they beat me and they expose me in their private videos. I mean, Christian Prince, lie number one, lie number two, lie number four. Why you don't call me, call him and show him the lies? No, I will, I will show him the lies here. <laughs> oh boy. And this is why a lot of Muslims are leaving Islam. I am very grateful for my lord for providing me with all of you for providing us with the internet so we can meet and we can talk we can share to meet people all the way at the end of this earth amazing i'm really grateful i'm grateful that muslims are calling and leaving islam i'm grateful that Many, many, many Muslims leave in Islam every day because of my videos. I'm grateful that I have support of many people who love me, even though there's a lot of people who hate me. But the Lord, he says, because of me, they will discriminate you. They will persecute you. They will kill you. Time will come and they will think by killing you, they are doing favor to God. I'm very grateful for the Lord for he provide us with everything we need to demolish cults expose them and share the truth and the truth will set you free and he said I am the truth I am the Alpha I am the Omega I am the beginning I am the end I am the resurrection I am the door. I am the truth. I pray that the truth will set all of us free. And the truth is one of his names. For he is the truth. Everything about him is the truth. His wisdom is the truth. His salvation his resurrection his creation the Bible says that everything was created by him and for him we are created for him but to love us 
not because he needed slaves like Islam. Jesus, he came to free you from slavery. This is why when the Jews, they said to him, this woman, when she go to heaven, who is going to have her? He said, he and she, they will not get married. They will be the same as angels. Which means Jesus, the Messiah, will free you from your needs. While Allah, he is trying to make you addicted to sex and food and gold and silver in his heaven, the Messiah free you from every need to live a glory life with the Lord. You will be the same as angels. You will not need to sleep. You will not need to eat. You will not get sick. You will not need women. Women do not need men. You do not need anything, but you are happy. For the only one who can make you happy, in a way nobody can. No food can make you happy, this is temporarily. No sex can make you happy, this is temporarily. If God, he gave us the joy to enjoy food for a few moments of tasting them, can God make us a bigger joy? Have nothing to do with sex and food? Yes, he can, for he is the almighty Lord. For he is holy. The purpose of sex between man and women is, is to reproduce. So what the point of the sex in heaven in Islam if there is no reproduction? Simply because this is the heaven of the devil. Wine, river of wine, women with no panties. And then he starts exaggerating with his lies. 70 years orgasm. You go to, Z to visit Zachar Naik, first year Zachar Naik is having orgasm. You come a year after, he's having orgasm. 10 years after, he's having orgasm. 20 years after, he's having orgasm. You knock at the door after 40 years. Zachar Naik, it's 40 years. I told you, I told you 40 years, but I didn't tell you. 40 years about Muthad. But when it comes to orgasm, it's going to be 70 years. 70 years orgasm, you idiot. You have to be an officially crazy person to believe in such a garbage. 70 years orgasm. I mean, make it 69. Like, come on, breathe. 70 years just for the orgasm. So the sex was how long? If the orgasm was 70 years. Hmm. True religion must be true. All right. We are blessed. No, the website use fake Quran. Fake Quran. The Quran I'm showing you on the screen is fake Quran. <laughs> All right. Take care. Let your daddy speak to me. We have no time for kids. Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you again for all of you. The Lord, the Messiah, is our Savior. And uh, remember, here we use certain language because we are speaking about filthy, dirty cult. It's called Islam. Otherwise, if we are Christians speaking only about what is right, we will not use this language. But as you see, this is the words of Muhammad. Endless penis, 70 years orgasm, crazy stuff. And my duty is to show you things as it is. I don't sugarcoat, I just coat. As it is. People who like it, like it. Who don't like it, I don't care. Because the purpose of education is to educate, not to be politically correct. Say it as it is, so people they can see and hear the truth. Never say things which is not written there. Say it as it is. So people they can see, people can learn, people can get the idea and re you know, learn the truth. If everybody sugarcoat what is written there, 
Okay, are we learning about the sugar coating or we are learning about what is written there? So I say it as it is. And there's many people don't like it because I am very straightforward. And maybe they, uh, they say he's tough, he's harsh. I am harsh. I am tough. I'm fighting the devil, my friend. I'm fighting the devil. Every second, because of the devil of Muhammad, there's thousands of people being slaughtered in Africa, in Nigeria, Burkina Faso, Mali, you name it. Syria, Iraq, Libya, Afghanistan, Pakistan, everywhere. In the name of this devil, blood is being shed every second. And you are talking about harsh and whatever propaganda you have. The truth has to be said, and here we deliver it. Thank you again for being here. Please don't forget to subscribe to my other channel. Remember, I will be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in Equality of Life M27, so we can speak about different topics. We as a Christians, Muslims are welcome to everybody is welcome, but it's not going to be about Islam. That channel have nothing to do with the cult of Islam. So there we will be clean. It's like a place where we take a shower and we don't mention anything about this cult. So if you like to join us, feel free to join the, uh, the, 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 the account, Quality of Life M27. The admin posted the link already for you many times and uh, we'll be happy to have you there too. Thank you for being here. And I want to say thank you again for those who support us in every mean, in every way. I really appreciate you. Uh, I pray that the Lord, uh, He always provide us with uh, mental health because this is very important more important actually from health because imagine if your body is fine but your brain is sick I mean that's disaster so mental health is very important and the Lord wisdom is the best guidance for mental health he is the supplier of mental health he guide you he said from their fruits you shall know them not from their names. You can call yourself Christian Prince. You can call yourself a Christian. You can call yourself Muhammad. You can call yourself even the Messiah if you want. But we will know you from your fruits. And the fruits, the good fruits, coming from someone, his brain is not infected, is not corrupted, is not defeated by Satan. Their fruit, my friend. The fruit. One sentence of the Messiah is enough to silence all the books. From their fruits you shall know them. And this is, can be a golden, I mean priceless guideline for you. Even if about you going to get married. How you know if this person is man or this woman is good for you? look at their fruits you want to do business with somebody how you want to know if they are good for you look at their fruits how you want to know if this person is a good person look what he do with his mother his family his sister if he is good to them that is a good fruit if he cannot be good to his mother and his mom is his father how he can be good to you from their fruits my friend this is how we know the tree. A tree who do not give good fruits will be cut off and thrown into the hellfire. That is the words of my Lord. And with his wisdom, we finish for today. God bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon again. Bye-bye.